Hello everybody, my name is Amanda and welcome back to another video. I have just started my Masters of Children's Literature and I've just moved into a new place and I thought that I would take this opportunity to talk a little bit about kind of how I personalise my space as well as giving you a little bit of a room tour and to put this into a little bit of perspective. I think that is is really quite important to make your space as comfortable and kind of as personal to you as possible, but especially if you are at university right now and you're kind of forced to stay indoors a lot, then I think it makes a huge difference if you feel comfortable and at ease in your room. So I think that we should just kind of start with kind of an overview of my room and then we'll come back here and I'll talk a little bit more about kind of specific ideas and what I think about when I move into a new space. So when you enter my room there are basically two spaces. There's the kind of general room and here is uh, just like a, a sink basically and a wardrobe. So I'm just doing some laundry at the moment and then since we have a shared bathroom this is all I get in my room but it's quite nice because that means that I can keep all of my makeup and beauty stuff kind of away from my desk which is an opportunity I've never had before so I'm, I'm really quite enjoying this. So when you then enter the actual room there's like a little door here which I think is quite nice and this is kind of an overview of what it looks like. So I have two really big windows with a really nice view, a reading chair that I can just kind of sit and read at. I also have so much storage. So I have this whole bookshelf here where I keep some of my kitchen stuff as well, but just books and kind of storage in general. A desk with a little lamp and then I have this cork board which I've kind of made good use of, I think. And I also have this shelf which I kind of keep alcohol and just is, is mostly for decorative purposes but I do use all the glasses and stuff but I think it just adds a nice pop of kind of personality to the room as well. There's the bed and I just keep stuff under the bed. There's even so much storage that I have two empty shelves that I'm not really quite sure what I'm gonna do with just yet but I'm sure I'll be able to come up with something. Finally like I do wish to get some plants or something to put just here because there's such a nice space for, for plants and stuff. I also keep a yoga mat and a barbell pad that I bring to the gym, some weights, yoga blocks and stuff just kind of out of the way. And that's kind of all there is actually. It's kind of a small space but I think that I've managed to use it efficiently and I think the people that have furnished it have also managed to use it quite efficiently. The thing then is just like about adding that personal touch. So I hope you guys really enjoyed that. I feel like I really enjoy this space. It feels very cozy and I think and then playing to the strengths of the room is really important. And I've never had a room with this much storage, which I think is quite remarkable. In general, I think there are two facets to this kind of problem of how to personalize your room. One is kind of highlighting the things that you like and making it reflect your personality. And the second part is more practical when you have to kind of get rid of the things that you don't like seeing, such as suitcases or moving boxes that you want to keep, kind of the things that clutter but you still need to keep and how like where do you place those things I guess are those are the two things and then on top of that I think it's also about how do you do this affordably as well. The thing pointing to like the two parts of my room that I really really like are the big shelf where I display some of my hobbies such as reading and uh, I'm really into kind of mixology and different types of alcohol and gin and that type of thing so I kind of keep bottles and glasses and things on that shelf and then I have kind of what you can see in the background here and what I've done basically is whenever I go to a new museum I'll buy one or two postcards from their gift shop so I just find that it's a really inexpensive way to create a memory from a place that you've visited but also I think it just looks really really pretty and you can kind of mix and match with colors and that type of thing. Something that I only could partially do in this room is customize fabrics and stuff. I really like having uh, duvet covers on the bed that kind of reflect the feeling that I like to have in the room but I also like to extend that to curtains but these curtains were already like pre-installed um, but in general I think there's so much you can do with blankets, with duvet covers and that kind of gives the room a cohesive feeling I think. 
And then the last thing I think is lighting as well. I hate having my big like overhead lights on. I just cannot deal with it, which is why I always bring fairy lights with me. I bring like small lamps like that one. And that's kind of what I use to light up my room a little bit more without having these stark lights that I think really aren't cozy at all. So I think lighting textures and objects kind of work together to reflect what type of person that you are. And hopefully that will make you feel more comfortable in your own space. So I think the second part of the problem then is how do you get rid of like large chunky things that you don't want to see? And it's a really difficult one because each room is different. And here I've been really, really lucky because there is more storage than I need, which I think is quite wild. But trying to keep towels and bed linen and curtains and stuff in one designated area and then usually, if you're lucky, there will be a space under your bed to put things like suitcases, boxes, and that type of thing. And one thing that I think people can forget quite easily is that those things can still contain things. So if there are things you just don't want to see, put them in those suitcases that go under your bed because they're space, right? I also have a suitcase in my wardrobe because there weren't enough space under the bed and I can keep things in that one as well just to kind of get it out of the way. And then you can also arrange with small like boxes that you can buy from Ikea or really cheaply just kind of stack things on top of each other to kind of get them out of the way. And hopefully that will kind of net you a comfortable, not too cluttered space that reflects your personality. And that's really what I like about this room. I've always kind of wanted an exposed brick wall and I feel like I'm living my cozy cabin dream at the moment. And I think even if your room isn't what you'd hoped or it isn't kind of exactly what you wanted, giving it a bit of personality, I think, is kind of key to being comfortable with spending a lot of time there because that's kind of what we're all doing. We're doing Zoom, uni, you're not really going out that much and having a space that you can feel comfortable in is, I think, so, like you, it can't, the importance of that just cannot be understated. So that was basically all I had to share with you guys today and I hope that you can take a few tips and tricks on how to personalize your own space to make it more comfortable and good luck with all your university studies, good luck with your room decorations and I shall see all of you guys in my next video. Bye!